Um, okay, so even the Washington Post is now questioning whether or not this trip to the Middle East was worth it for President Biden. Did he take anything home at all in your mind? I mean, I hope he found an hour to go shopping or work on his tan by the King David in Jerusalem. I think beyond <laughs> that, no, he didn't. <laughs> Uh, there's two ways that you can look at it, right? You can say, did he get any concrete deliverables out of this? And really the answer is no. He came with uh, some small gifts for the Saudis, for the Israelis, even in a very token way for the Palestinians. He came back with nothing. There was no deal on oil. There was nothing concrete on sort of regional security cooperation. Uh, and even the step towards Saudi-Israeli normalization that he's sort of taken credit for, these, these overflight rights for Israeli commercial airliners, uh, it's a very token thing and, and doesn't really help Americans, of course, and doesn't help his reelection prospects in November. The other way you can look at it, as your previous guest was doing, is you can say this was drawing a line under a very difficult period in the relationship. But I think even there, you know, there are substantive reasons uh, that why this relationship has been so fraught. It's not just because Joe Biden uh, ostracized the crown prince, promised to make him a pariah. It's also because there are very real concerns in the Gulf. Uh, about America's commitment to their security, to playing the role of security guarantor. And it's going to take a lot more than one presidential visit to put that relationship back on solid footing. So uh, I think both on sort of optics and on substance, he really didn't come back with much. Absolutely. And I, I was thinking that more to your point in terms of um, the what's on the actual table for Saudi Arabia, for the UAE, the, the bigger petrodollar question of they're going to continue to get closer to Beijing. Already they are the biggest foreign direct investor in Saudi Arabia, in the UAE. They're the Saudi's biggest trading partner. And that's a direct result, frankly, of half of the oil that Beijing takes comes from the Gulf Arab countries. I mean, there's no way that the Americans can offset that, um, at least when it comes uh, you know, even to the defense sector. When you think about this a bit more broadly, has the American you know, public, I mean, they don't know that much about the Gulf Arab countries other than the oil question, right? They don't even understand this whole China-Russia dynamic, most people. Would you say that uh, this has reset anything in the minds of the electorate? Because if you're looking at it from the Republican side, you don't really care as long as more oil gets on the table, whether that comes domestically or from the international community and prices go down. If you're looking at it from the Democrat side, you're thinking about this as a human rights issue. Right. I, I don't think it's changed anything. I mean, I think first look at the media coverage in America. It's been overwhelmingly critical, sort of 90 percent of the articles that I've read about this in the American media from Fox to MSNBC and, and everything in between have been critical of this trip. So politically, it hasn't played well in America. And I think you're right. There was nothing concrete uh, on energy here. We have seen, of course, gas prices falling in America for the past few weeks, but that has nothing to do with this visit. And uh, we're sort of one bad Gulf Coast hurricane this summer away from, from the drop in, in uh, gas prices being reversed. And then for Democrats, I think this trip almost reinforces what critics of Saudi Arabia had been saying for the past 18 months, where, uh, you know, the reason this trip was organized, it was meant to showcase the importance of the U.S.-Saudi relationship and why we can't treat this country like a pariah, why, why we can't afford to ostracize the crown prince. That was the rhetoric. But Biden comes back with nothing from this trip. I can imagine if I'm a more sort of progressive Democrat on the Hill, someone who's been critical of the Saudis, I'll point to this and I'll say this, this validates everything I've been saying. This relationship isn't that important. We shouldn't be so heavily invested in it. Uh, I've been right all along. So no, politically, I don't think it moved anything in America.